I'm Tyler. I'm in charge of repairs at 8 Ounce Coffee. Today we're going to go over unclogging and cleaning your conical grinder. Some common reasons why your conical grinder might become clogged are lack of regular maintenance. You should be cleaning out your grinder at least a couple times a month, maybe more if you use a dark roast or oily coffee. Another big one is overfilling your grinds bin. About halfway to two thirds is about as full as you should take it because it doesn't just level out, it creates a mountain. And if you fill it so that you see it here on the edge of the grinds bin, the mountain is gonna push it up into the chute and it'll clog. Yeah, and also just because of the oils in the beans, it builds up on everything in the grind chamber and it will clog eventually if you don't clean it out or use some cleaning tablets to absorb some of those oils and get it out of the grinder. So first we're gonna wanna empty the hopper of any beans that might still be in there. Also make sure your grinder is unplugged. Then we're going to wanna remove the hopper, the silicone gasket, and the removable ring burr. Once all of those have been removed, we're gonna wanna use the wire brush that came with your Encore to knock loose any coffee grinds that are stuck around the edges of the cone burr. So if you just go kinda up and down, and you can poke into it to get them loose. Depending on the severity of the clog, you might have to do this more or less. And if it's really clogged and you can't get it with the wire brush, you can also use uh, something like a small Allen key. It's harder, so you can press into the clogged grinds easier to knock them loose. And we'll want to knock them out periodically as we're doing this. You can also use the back of the wire brush. And you can also come up from the chute and knock loose grinds from there. Uh, continue to knock loose the grinds until you can see the paddle wheel at the bottom of the grind chamber. Once you have a clear view of the four paddles of the paddle wheel and the bottom of the grind chamber, then uh, you can tip over your grinder and just give it a tap, knock loose some of the, the grinds. Uh, keep going back and forth between using the, the wire brush and knocking loose the grinds by tipping it upside down. Once you can clearly see the bottom of the, gr the grind chamber and the paddle wheel, you can use the end of your wire brush or an Allen key to push the clogged grinds in the chute down through the grinder. When you're cleaning the parts of your grinder, plastic bits like the hopper and the grinds bin and the lid and the silicone gasket, you can clean with warm soapy water. Be careful with the silicone gasket as it can tear, so be careful not to stretch it too much or it might rip. But when it comes to the burrs, the cone burr and your ring burr, the removable ring burr. Try not to use any water on it. They're high carbon steel, which maintains their edge, but because of that, they're susceptible to rust. So just use a wire brush or something dry to knock loose any grinds. That's really the best thing to do to keep them in good shape. Once you've unclogged the grinder, uh, you'll want to run the grinder, get any excess bits of coffee out and run some cleaning tablets through the grinder just to get some excess oils out of there. If you don't have any, you can purchase them on our website, linked below. And those are just gonna help get any excess oils out of the grinder so that it will prevent clogging in the future. After you've run the, the tablets through the grinder, you're gonna want to run another round of just beans to push any excess tablets out of the grinder because you don't want that in your coffee either and then just everything that we mentioned, you're gonna to wanna to chuck in the garbage. Thank you for watching our video on unclogging and cleaning your conical grinder. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos every Thursday. Until next time, happy brewing.